what's up guys we finally did another bucket list video I know it's been a while since I posted one of these and today we have number 151 learn to snowboard now this one was a lot harder than I thought it would be I figured I would be able to stand up pretty easily on the board and just slide down the mountain and just learn to you know turn left and turn right it would be a piece of cake and I was very wrong as you can guess, my first day on the slopes went a little something like this. Ooh, that one hurt. Oh, oh, my bad. And all of those falls were just on the beginner slopes. These weren't even on the blue ones, which I had to go to later. One hour later. Yeah, so besides falling most of the first day, I did manage to learn a few things. First of all, I learned how to put on the snowboard. That was not something I knew how to do before I got out there. Second, I learned to climb up hills and I learned to skate around a little bit, which is where I leave one foot off and slide and stop myself with either my toe or my heel. Near the end of the day, I was starting to get a little bit more confident on my heel edge of the board um, which is you know where the back of your foot the side that the back of your foot is on and i started to do what is called a falling leaf on the heel edge that pretty much wrapped up most of my first day but day two is when things get really interesting well i, I say interesting because here i am a few days later having had time to calm down but day two was the most frustrating day for me. I'm slightly terrified that I'm going to get hit in the back and be paralyzed for life. <laughs> you see, on day one, I started to understand the toe side a little bit, and I was feeling pretty comfortable on the heel side. Uh, the thing that makes day two so confusing and so frustrating was the fact that this was the day I had to start linking turns together, and that required me to start transferring my weight from the heel side to the toe side while going downhill for the first time. Needless to say, I fell a lot. I was getting really annoyed on that slope, but bindings came off at the top, like completely that went off. Yeah. And I was stuck behind these two people who were like crashed directly in front of me. I almost got friendly with a tree there. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't control beside, unless my board is like around this vicinity of me just going down flat, yeah, yeah. I can't control it. Yeah. And it's pissing me off. Now, now I'm starting to get a little frustrated. <laughs> As I'm getting the confidence of realizing I can stay off on the board, but I don't have the confidence enough to go anything bigger yet. So as you can tell from that footage, I was getting pretty frustrated by the end of Saturday. It was around 3.30 or so when I decided to call it quits for the day. With the slopes closing at 4.30, that didn't feel like I was missing out on too much. But Cody, sitting there in front of me wanted to go up one more time to the peak of the mountain which was way too hard for me to do but definitely something that he could do so i gave him the gopro and the rest of the footage that you're about to see is from his point of view So that run you just saw was from Cody and he was on the Blue Black Trail on Gunther's Way at the top of Sugar Mountain. But that ended the second day and the rest of the footage you're about to see is from day three. Now on day three we really only had to about lunchtime because everyone was exhausted at this point and Cody had to leave early so we just kind of caught it at about 12.30. I did manage to capture a little bit of footage of me riding from the third person. We gave the camera to Cody, who was the most stable of all of us, and in the footage you also see my friend Sean as well, who's on the skis. We got a few trial runs in on some of the greens and blues, and to close the day off, we ended with a race from the top of Big Birch. From the top of the hill, from it's a blue slope, all the way down to the exit that leads to our cabin. The winner is whoever grabs the doorknob to our apartment first. 
what makes this challenge so difficult is while I did have a head start by being ahead on one chair of the chairlift, I also was the least experienced on the mountain. However, if I could make it down to the bottom where the entrance to our apartment was, there was a giant staircase and I believe that I had the cardio to beat the other guys up there if I could at least get there in a reasonable amount of time. What I did not expect was actually getting there in a reasonable amount of time. So what we're thinking is by the time we get back up, we got time for like one more run, we're thinking we're going to race back to the place. Race back to the place. Stairs yeah. and all. First one, first one to grab the doorknob. First one to the doorknob. All right. We saw it starting from the top of where we just were? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna ride that with us and then. Alright. Alright. After you, Mason. Oh, you gave me a head start. How we feeling? Good. <laughs> I needed to, to hit my bindings flawlessly. And so I thought Sean was gonna beat me. I looked over to you to say, I was like, he's gonna beat me. And I realized you're already gone. I was like, Fuck, Mace is gonna beat me. <laughs> How we doing, man? <laughs> That's I feel like I'm climbing out ever. I know, that was rough. I was like, the second you got there first, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so that was everything I... Huh? How'd you get there before Cody? I think Cody had some trouble with his bindings and I went hillside all the way and just, and just kind of risked it. So there you have it. It took me three days, but I finally managed to get a run in without falling down and we have undisputed video evidence that I did it. Now for at least this season, I hold the title of fastest man down the blue hill to the specific apartment that we stay at title but we'll just have to see what that looks like next year. Big shout out to Sean and Cody for both showing me the ropes on the snowboard and inviting me along on the trip. It's always been something I wanted to do and I'm glad I finally did it. It took a lot of patience and I still have a whole lot to learn, but honestly, I'm looking forward to next season. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and leave a comment as to uh, what I could do better. As always, subscribe if you're new here and look forward to some more videos here in the future.